بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن وی آر موونگ ٹو ورڈس دی گلوبلائزیشن آف کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر آلسو لوکنگ ایٹ ہاؤ دیر از دی کنٹیکچولائزیشن آف یونیورسلائزیشن آف کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ دیٹ واز دا مین ٹاپک فار آر پریویس سیشن ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو بی لوکنگ ایٹ پریمیم فار کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ دا فوکس از گوئنگ ٹو بی آن این انٹرنیشنل سروے وچ واز کنڈکٹڈ بائی میکنزی اینڈ تھرو دیٹ ویریس premiums were identified for corporate governance. Now, if we look at this survey, then this survey uh, was carried not only in a particular country, but was basically a global survey. And that survey basically covered Asia, Europe, and the United States, because again, we are looking at the universalization of corporate governance. So what that basically revealed was that three quarters of the investors say that board practices are at least as important as investment performance. So again, When we are talking about investment performance, that is very important. That is the destination. But we are also looking at the pathway. And the pathway are the board practices that how does the board conduct itself? How does the board keep itself as an independent platform overlooking the corporation or the organization or the conglomerate? And then what are the checks and balances that have been implemented and executed within the organization in the context of the relationship of the board with the top management and vice versa. And therefore, this revealed that more than 75% of investors focused on board practices because they thought that whatever the performance of their uh, investment is going to be, if it's going to be in the long run, then there have to be good board practices. Similarly, over 80% of investors say that they would pay more for the shares of a well-governed company. A well-governed company was defined as one that is a majority of outside directors with no management ties on its board. So again, we are looking at an independent board and the investors would basically pay a premium. They would be willing to pay more if a company is well governed. So again, looking at the structure of the organization is extremely important rather than just the performance because the performance could be a compromised performance, but giving good results. So the important thing is, is not reaching good results, but how are those good results basically materializing? And what is the process of reaching those good results? And again, the famous example of Enron, I mean, Enron was showing fabulous results, but the process was wrong. And therefore, then it tumbled down and more than $56 billion were vanquished overnight. So that itself uh, tends to set the tone of what and how it should be done from the context of getting premiums for corporate governance. Uh, another aspect of this uh, multi-global survey by McKinsey uh, also revealed that directors should also hold significant shareholdings in the company, a large part of their pay should come in the form of stock options. So again, they should have a stake in the organization and rather than getting hefty salaries, they should be benefiting from the stock options that they have. And if they are not doing good, then definitely the stocks would be going down and they would be on the losing side. So that would be a check and balance would ensure that the board uh, would be a good regulator, would be a good facilitator and would be uh, the paragon of transparency and accountability within the organization. And that tends to give confidence to the international investors to invest in that type of organization. The size of the premium the institutional investors say they are willing to pay for uh, a good board governance. So again, uh, like I mentioned earlier, that a good board governance system uh, and framework is very important. Investors all over the world believe that the investments in Asia and Latin America are better protected by well-governed companies. So whenever they are going into volatile markets of Asia or Latin America, then better well-governed companies uh, would ensure the protection of their investment. And therefore, it would be easier for them to uh, basically uh, either add more investment or take out investment and ensure uh, that whatever capital gains are coming in, they are more sustainable and more long-term if they are uh, in uh, a well-governed company. And that is extremely important, especially in the context of Latin America and Asia uh, because of loose uh, legal frameworks and lesser implementation uh, from the uh, judicial organizations. And that's why the premium uh, can be paid for such organizations. The size of the premium, the institutional uh, investors say they are willing to pay for uh, good board governance. And again, they want to ensure uh, that the best uh, companies are well protected and their investment is protected in Asia and Latin America. Uh, the uh, survey also uh, tends to uh, reveal that companies and policymakers should take heed of developments. Uh, if companies could capture a small part of the governance premium, that is apparently available, they would create much greater shareholder value. And then again, the survey uh, was again predominantly held in this particular context and that uh, the company and policymakers 
have to understand the developments taking place globally and also at a national level so that they are more well prepared and they can have better projections in creating greater shareholder value. Uh, high governance standards will prove essential to attracting and retaining investors in globalized capital markets and that is extremely important. If those high governance standards do not exist, then the investors would shift their investment to other countries and that would uh, basically destabilize uh, any economy uh, and especially like a country like Pakistan, if investment is taken out, uh, then the whole stocks and the whole stock market and also the economy would just plummet down uh, because uh, it does not have the space uh, and it does not have any other an alternate source of incomes or alternate source of investments. So that is very important that high governance standards should be formulated, should be implemented and ex executed to the best possible uh, dimensions and to the best possible standards which are internationally accepted. Thank you so much.